Motorcycle arrest stops an apparent crime spree. Authorities say it happened just months after they booked the suspect. The guy bonded out of the Sarpy County Jail and deputies believe he's at it again. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Investigators say the stealing began this summer and spanned a handful of cities in eastern Nebraska. He faces charges for burglaries in Bellevue, Plattsmouth, and Lincoln. Police believe he might be connected to more crimes. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is live with the latest in a story you'll see only on three tonight. Jake. Craig and Jen, Tyler Cross didn't show up for his Sarpy County Court appearance yesterday on 13 charges stemming from theft arrests in Bellevue. He's now in jail in Lincoln on a similar charge, but that's not all. The crime spree starts in June. The 24-year-old Cross and Christopher Qualls arrested for burglaries in Bellevue, Plattsmouth, and Lincoln. Cross posts 10% of $40,000 bond in July. Sarpy County Sheriff's issue a search warrant on a phone believed to be Cross's in early August, tying him to at least four vehicle break-ins near 192nd and Harrison. The suspect got away but left behind a stolen motorcycle from Lincoln and a backpack with stolen credit cards, that phone, and a stolen gun. That's very scary, especially as a mom with kids. It's extremely concerning. Joanne Stroka called 911 that morning when she saw the man ransacking cars. The sheriff's office says they don't have enough probable cause to charge him with the break-ins. I think it's terrible because if they're not going to have consequences for their actions, why would they stop? They're just continuing to steal from people that work hard for what they have and for someone just to come along and take what belongs to them is not fair at all. But it doesn't take long for Cross to get caught. In September, police arrest him with a different stolen motorcycle in Lincoln, also accused of stealing firearms and jewelry. Nancy Grice says the suspect also ransacked her vehicle in southwest Omaha, but tells us he didn't take anything. Well, how does that happen? I mean, how do they let this happen? I understand the law is the law, and you have to have certain circumstances in order to be able to arrest someone. But um, it seems obvious that this guy is not going to stop. The neighborhood has started a watch program through social media because no matter where you live, someone could be targeting you. You just don't know what people are thinking. You know, you can never be too careful. Cross is being held at the Lancaster County Jail on $50,000 bond. He'll face a judge there on Friday. His attorney told me today they're early in the process and looks forward to defending his rights when they receive all the information and reports from authorities. Reporting live in the News Center, Jake Wazikowski. KMTV Action 3 News. New at 6 on K2.